Hey, welcome back YouTubers. This is Dottie from Ignite Cinemas. Today I'm gonna to be showing you a tutorial on how to use the Sin City effect in Final Cut Pro 10. Let's go. All right, so I was watching the movie Sin City on Netflix a few days ago, and I was like, man, this is a really cool effect. And I would love to bring this to the channel and show you guys how to do it using Final Cut. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to import your clip. I have mine here already. This is actually a clip I filmed for a client a few months ago. It was a campaign video. What we're gonna do is once we have it loaded, I'm gonna come over here to the color correction and add that on top of our clip. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna to wanna to pick a color out of what we want to make pop out and everything else is gonna be black and white. We got red, we got blue, we got green. I'm gonna go with red. I like the red in her shirt. So I'm gonna come up here to the effects tab and under color correction, Right here, we're gonna add a color mask and we're gonna wanna click the red in her shirt. What that does, gives us a color mask right here. As you can see, we're gonna leave everything the same there, but we're actually gonna come up here to color board. Down here in the mask, we have inside and outside. We're gonna work in the outside right now. Make sure saturation is highlighted and we're gonna drop that all the way down to a negative 100. That brings everything in the back, black and white, leaving us with color, the red color in our shirt. Now we click inside and we're gonna play around with the saturation. We're gonna go up accordingly, see how bright we want the red. I'm gonna keep it in the middle right here. And that looks great to me. Now when we come back to the color correction tab, under the color mask, if it's not selected already, you're gonna wanna Hit this Doppler, yeah, I'm gonna call it a Doppler. We're gonna wanna click that, make sure it's blue. And as you can see, if we even click around, not all of it gets highlighted. So what we do in this case is we hold down the shift key, then click. And what that does is it gets all that color that you want. So go over any spot that you see that's in black and white, and that's supposed to be red, and click it. Now, as you can see, I guess she had red lipstick. Now we can fix this. What we're gonna do in this case is we're gonna add another color correction to the same clip, come to the effects, and we're gonna create a shape mask. Now we want the feathering to be very, none at all so the top one is a feather we're going to bring that down i'm going to bring this bring that basically i want to cover her face there's a little red right there so i'm going to drag that out drag that to about right there so once we have our outline we're going to come to the color board and we're going to actually work in the inside this time because we're working inside this mask. We're going to bring that saturation down all the way to negative 100. And you see, we fixed the problem. Let's review that. Perfect. I like to go above and beyond and I want to play around with the exposure to give it a more dark feel. So what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to come over here to the first color correction we made, go into color board, and I'm gonna play with the outside. This is the background. I want it darker. I want the blacks to be crushed more. So I'm gonna go to exposure. I'm gonna come to the shadows and I'm gonna bring that down a notch. Really, I'm gonna play around with the mids, the mid-tones and go ahead and crush that. You see how, how everything pops even more? I like that. I'm gonna leave the highlights the same right there. Click out of this. Yeah, that's official right there, I like that. This is the other scene right here. The B-roll cam I got at the same interview. Now what we have to do here is chop it. So I'm gonna use the blade tool right here. I'm gonna play this out because I don't wanna share the same shape mask with the first scene to this one because it's not gonna be the same. So I'm gonna make a separate one. Cut there. So we're gonna adjust the shape mask on this. Go ahead and click it. I'll make sure it's highlighted and I'm gonna move it 
right across and bring it down a little bit make sure everything's covered there we go everything looks great and there you have it that's the sin city effect some of y'all might encounter movement this was pretty much easy because she was still i had everything on the tripod i'm gonna show you guys right now a part two when you actually have the subject moving. All right, as we move into phase two, this is a little bit more complicated, being this is a walking scene, we're gonna have to actually add a keyframe to the shape mask we make. Just like before, we're gonna come over here to the color correction tab and add that on top of the scene. So this is what we're working with right here. I'm gonna turn the volume down. Well, again, we're gonna add a color mask, select her red shirt, Come over here to the color board, work outside, make sure it's highlighted under saturation, drop that perfect. Come down here, mask inside, and we're gonna adjust, hold the shift key, boom. Got some red in her lips. First, we're gonna add another color correction to it. But in this color correction, I'm actually gonna adjust the background first, the exposure, because I want the darks to be darker, I want the blacks to be crushed. And I'm gonna drop shadows a little bit, but mostly mid-tones, I'm gonna drop that big time there. That looks a lot better to me. And once we have that, we're gonna add a color correction. This is gonna be our third color correction, but we're doing the shape mask. Let me zoom back regular. I'm gonna drop our feather to nothing pretty much. And I'm gonna adjust this over her face, which her lips are red and I wanna take that out. Cause I only, I only want her shirt to be red. Under here, where the shape mask is, we're gonna go to color board, saturations covered, and we're gonna drop that down. Now here's the fun part, adding a keyframe on this mask. So come over here to the shape mask, make sure it's checked. And you see this plus sign, this is to add a keyframe. We're gonna hit that. Then we're gonna hit the right arrow key and we're gonna move accordingly to her face. Making sure that shape mask follows her. And I'm following her. Tedious, I know, but it's the life of editing. I hope this was very helpful for you guys. If it was, please don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you wanna see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you're always hip on the newest videos. If you guys have any suggestions of what tutorials you want me to break down, go ahead and go in the comment box and leave that there so I can do that for you guys. And as always, don't forget to go out and ignite.